Hello, I am trying to document um, all of my and my siblings' old toys that I've tested for lead. Um, I tested it using this, um, the lead chip swab. Um, I've used these many times before with good results. I know it's not the same as getting an actual, um, one of those, like, guns out. Those special guns that can measure the lead and they can measure things at a much lower level than this guy can pick up. However, for any parent out there with toys from the 70s to early 80s, such as me, who are concerned about their toys, this is what I've tested and have tested positive so far. This is our pretty much our entire line of Tonka toys. Everything, pretty much 100%, everything I tested from Tonka tested positive for lead. Everything. And all these guys that you see here. And here are some of our Star Wars characters that we had had from way back when. <clears throat> Apparently, um, <clears throat> excuse me, as you can see, all the white has turned positive. The R2's, Trooper, uh, the dude from the band, pencil sharpener, this uh, boombox, even the telephone. And then as for, these guys, I don't know, I can't tell what brand they are. All of these toys were made in Hong Kong. Um, this whole family, I cannot find on their bodies anywhere where it lists who made them. Um, I can't tell from this table. And this guy, I can't read what it says. But he was also made in Hong Kong. All of these guys were. And over here, these were made by DC Comics. I'm sure someone out there will recognize them and be kind of bummed like we were. And here's the Fisher Price section. I tested um, all of these kind of guys, as I'm sure many of you did. I'm, I don't know why I didn't put all of them in with this group, but um, they all tested, all of these guys tested positive for lead. Um, Rocky Horse, all of these Fisher Price guys, all of them tested positive for lead. So once again, here's the Fisher Price group. Also, I believe, made in Hong Kong. Here's the DC Comic Group. The group of unknown origin. But a lot of fun. Yeah, sorry about the headless lady there. Star Wars. And Tonka Toys. For all of you out there who are really bummed about it, we were bummed too. But um, I'll let you as a parent make your own decision, but they turned pretty darn positive. So there you go. I hope you found this informative, and I hope it saves uh, kids out there or even parents out there who like to play with these guys, just so that you're informed. Bye.